Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to share my latest design team project for Genevieve Designs. This uh, project is using her Southern Charm printable. Um, it's a mini album. And what I did with it is I made a, um, I guess it's a passport, passport size insert, like for the traveler's notebook collections. So it has, the, the theme is vintage and it's um, definitely purple in color. There's a lot of purple in here because I know Jennifer loves the color purple. And so I guess she designed it for that purpose. But it's a really cute, chunky little guy. And um, yeah, let me just take you inside. I will be showing you, I guess, um, how to make one of the pages closer to the end of the video. Uh, but I also wanted to show you the um, the printables. Uh, I printed the entire kit out and I've used portions of it here. Of course, you can resize it to fit whatever you want to make. It is meant for uh, albums, so the pages were meant to be attached together and so it would be thicker. But as I said, I made a um, passport size or personal size, I'm not sure, uh, insert. And so these are some of the pages that um, you can get to make things. This is one of the designs for it. I printed it also in different type of cardstock to see. Um, she created this by hand, so all this is her writing. So I thought that was really awesome to see. And as you can see, there's lots of pieces here that um, I printed as well. Differences in colors, how they come out. It's such a gorgeous kit. And to make um, a journal, I found it so fun because it's got all these tiny pieces. As you can see, it's just awesome. Um, and the only other thing is I did use some little ephemera pieces from J9 Scraps, but I'll show you guys what that is when I get in here. So this is the back. This is the front, of course, and I just added one of the little pieces that she hand wrote. So the inside is the pocket page, and I've got a little um, journaling space here. And then this is uh, J9 Scraps. And as you can see, this page here, it has the little tuck in the back, which I thought was fun. A little piece of vellum that I had extra. Look at this page. This is one of the pages that I'm going to show you how to make. Like, So you can see the when you pull that out, it almost looks like it's one seamless piece. But now I've made that into the pocket, which is how it's supposed to be. And this is just one of the little tags that you can get. Now I have, um, again, cut things up to fit what I wanted to do and size them and everything. So it's just a tag in the back of this glassine um, envelope, which is J9 Scraps. And then this one here, I'll show you both sides, opens up and it's journaling space. I've um, sprayed some of the pages again and then some of them are coffee stained. It's part of the kit. Love all the designs she did with them. And then this page, I've just attached a few pieces to it. So this is um, one of the cards from J9 Scraps. And then here is a piece from the kit. I'll just show you what I've done here. So that's just supposed to be more journaling space. And then also another journaling card there. So comes with tabs as well so I've used one of those here and look at the pages you can journal right on them so I thought that was really fun and then this one here also this comes out and then I've just left those attached to make more journaling spots I love working making this mini it's so cute so the envelope of course comes with it and then this is a piece of a layaway tag from j9 scraps shop and then this is part of the kit i just sprayed that in the back and then here this one this envelope comes with its own little letter not the cutest thing you've ever seen she designed this in such a cute way and um I really wanted to work with it because I hadn't worked with a journal kit specifically designed for like an album, but I, I decided to make that into this journal journal kit and it was just so fun to work with. Let's put a little coloring card or page. Another page from the kit. And this one here is a pocket page. And then I've got a few tags 
look at that intricacy she designed it that way so you could cut it so it looks like torn paper and then these are two tags that I kept together of course you can journal all over that and then this page here look at this one just love it anyways I just sprayed that a little bit there too so let's put that back after Part of our kit as well. I had so much fun with this one. Again, you can just turn right on that. These are more words that um, that she's designed and she's written those herself. Sorry, I keep bringing it up because I don't think you guys can see how awesome it is. Um, this ticket is J9 scraps, and I just attached it to both pages there for a little butterfly. And then this is an envelope, also J9 scraps. And then here I just added one of the other little journaling cards. Of course, I sprayed the back of that as well. And then this is just an extra piece from the, um, the kit itself. This is wonderful. Also one of the tags. And then here's one of the envelopes. I'll show you both sides so you can see. And then on the inside is another journaling card. And I'm actually going to show you how to um, use this one to make it into a pocket like one of these. So that's another pocket page there. And then another um, one of those little journaling letters cards that she's designed and then the back i made a pocket again this is another one of those awesome tags and then check out this tiny little file holder it's so adorable and okay this is a little um envelope okay and i've left it so it could be opened up because i thought it's so adorable so there's that and then this is a tiny little letter that goes with it so this fits right into that little envelope piece, which I decided not to close because I thought it was just cuter that way for now. I can journal right in there and have a little secret. And that's it, you guys. I absolutely love this little guy. It is so awesome to hold. I like that it's small. It has so much journaling space and all of the um, ephemera pieces are awesome. So stick around to the end and I will show you guys how to make that pocket page. All the information and links will be below. So I'll see you guys soon. Hi guys, so I'll be showing you how to make the um, pocket page like this one here for my little mini album. Now I did mention that this was Southern Charm and it was meant to be a album. Um, and so I just made it into a soft cover, um, I guess, junk journal. And it, it is the size, it's a, I think, it's personal size, is that what I said? Um, this is my original TN that I had made. So as you can see, the comparison of the size. Just wanted to show you guys the, the difference and how tiny it is and cute. Anywho, um, let me get started with my um, page here. So... Um, all the links will be below again and Jennifer has all the videos for how to make the album if that's what you guys wanted to do There's a few different versions of the album that she makes um, again. It's awesome. Check those out um, But this is what I'm going to show you how to do so I've got just a book page and this um, tiny little one So now you could cut this section off you could use like, you know special scissors with designs on them Or just regular scissors and I'm just going to use regular scissors in case you guys don't have fancy scissors and so just follow the curve and again it doesn't have to be too perfect because you can always correct it with a little bit of um, the stains um, that you can use for everything and it just sort of fixes any boo-boos so that's what I've done here and so um, what I'm going to do is glue um, this piece together now I could use double-sided tape, but I find that if you make a pocket with double-sided tape, the pocket, um, it'll stick things when you put them in. So I'm just moving it up a little bit. So I won't be doing the double-sided. I'll just be doing um, just regular 
wet glue. And again, it's just to make the this piece stick to the page. Now, if you were making the album and you were making this into the pocket, you would be gluing this to the other side. But because I'm using it as a page, I'm just going to be doing that. Okay, so there's that glued, the one side glued to the page. And then this part, I'm going to glue it all the way down because it doesn't have to go anywhere. That stays where I glue it. And I'm not opening this end, so let me just put that there. And again, this one I could have used the um, the double-sided tape for, but I just had this ready here to do it. So as you can see, I've just lined it up to make it look like it's one seamless piece. And then, oh, you can probably hear the birds outside. They're awesome right now. Birds are coming out, everybody. Okay, so there's that part. And then what I just did, which I'll just be doing quickly here, is just cut around it. Again, it does not have to be perfect. It can just be um, following the curb of the actual designed pocket page here. And why I'm using the book page, it's because Jennifer designed this kit with lots of um, book page text and so I thought it went really well with it because the back of it, when I flip it over you guys will see what I mean, but uh, just get rid of that stuff there. And so then as you can see here when that dries up there's the pocket page so I could do whatever I want on this side, you know, make another pocket, add something else to it like I did on this one which um, I added the envelope page and everything to the back, but here you go. You've got the little pocket here that you can use. Isn't that the cutest thing? So that's it, you guys. Easy peasy for this kit. It's awesome to print. It's easy to put things together, resized, the whole fun thing. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave the comments below. Again, thank you so much for watching, um, sharing these moments with me. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.